So a lot of you guys have probably tried to start building on Roblox, but you had no idea where to start. Maybe you opened up Studio, threw in a bunch of free models, and then closed it, you know? Um, we've all we've all been there. But seriously, building does take up a lot of time and dedication to get good at it. But in this video, I'm going to help you get started with some simple steps. I'm just going to be brushing over each topic in this video, and I'll make videos going into more detail on each of these things in the future. First of all, once you, you know, open up studio, make a base plate, you just want to ignore everything. So all the buttons, just ignore it all. They're gone. So all you need to worry about is the tools right here, select, move, scale, rotate, and then the um, snap to grid options, which let you change the increment of how many degrees or how many studs you move apart, the properties window, and the explorer window. You also wanna know the keybinds control D. This is about all you need to get the basics down of building. Oh, oh yeah, you're also gonna need to anchor your parts. Uh, don't forget that one. And now you should have all you need to get started. So after you've practiced the basics for a while, it's now time to start messing around with the other features in Studio. So um, you want to get comfortable. Find your way around. Google things when you don't understand them. And this is just exploring all the parts of Roblox Studio, clicking every menu, seeing what each thing does that is uh, somewhat related to building. If you find something too hard for you right now, you can just write it down and come back to it later when you need it. After you've done this for a while, you should be getting pretty comfortable around studio. This isn't, this definitely isn't the fastest way to learn, but it's definitely the easiest way and it'll be the most fun for you to just mess around and have fun with this. But if you follow all these tips, you'll be going fast enough um, and you can work at your own pace. So now, after you've gotten the basics down, you're pretty comfortable building, you're ready to start using plugins. Basically what plugins are, are these uh, things made by other developers which let you add more features to Studio. They'll make your life a whole lot easier by solving some problems that you might have found before, and it'll add a lot more functionality to Studio that you didn't have before, like making 3D text objects. Um, and instead of going over each of the plugins I use, which I have like 20 by the way, I don't know, probably more than that actually. It's gonna give you my top three in the description and I'll save the rest for other videos. So sub so you don't miss that. Now you're gonna be getting pretty comfortable building in Studio and um, it's probably about time to learn the terrain editor, which this is probably one of the coolest features in my opinion on Roblox. You can make huge detailed maps in a short amount of time using the terrain editor because of the amazing powerful tools that that you can use by just growing, eroding, adding, subtracting, etc. Um, to make the terrain that you want. And it's just really easy to use, and it's really fun to build maps this way because you can really see it coming together as you work. I'll have a full tutorial showing you how to use terrain pretty soon, but I do have another video that I already made in the past about some tips that'll be in the top right-hand corner for you guys if you want to check that out. Now, Blender. Blender is a program that a lot of developers use to make more detailed objects for their games, trees, all that kinds of stuff. Sometimes people like to build only in Blender, and there's a lot of reasons why you might want to do that, but for now, just worry about Studio, and once you have that down, you will have a lot easier of a time learning Blender, and you will be able to improve your maps a lot, so make sure that you stick around on my channel to keep learning. I'll be making a Blender's Basics tutorial. Anyways, make sure to join my Discord server to chat with other developers. Link will be in the description to join that. So yeah, see you guys next time. Enjoy learning to build.